The Text Editor extension is a free, highly customizable text and code editing extension for your browser. It's full featured with code and text editing options simply enabled by adding it to our browser. So this is the first thing that we do. After adding this to our browser, we can then go ahead and pin it in the toolbar. To do this, we simply left click here and then left click the pin. Now we have the text editor extension icon inside our browser toolbar. So we now go ahead and left click the text editor icon we see in our toolbar and it loads the pop-up window. Inside this window, we can see the editing area and then the left hand menu. Now the left hand menu is what you'd expect to see in most editors. It has the options to create a new file, open a pre-existing one, save this, save as, save all, open folder, open settings, and the name of the current file that we have open. In the footer, you also have the ability to reload, you also have the ability to refresh, and the ability to reset as well. So by default, when we open this, we have the um, file open called Untitled Zero. We can then open the Options panel of here as well and see different options within. So let's start by opening a um, pre-existing file. So we go ahead and click Open, and then we select HTML Sample. Here now you can see that the editor has changed because it's picking up the HTML code. So if, for example, I go here and I type in P, it's going to give me all the options linked to P in HTML. So we have the paragraph tag, param tag, the pre tag, and the progress. I close that, and then it gives me other options. So really quickly, as some just brief settings inside of this editor, it allows you so many different options. So for example, we can select to automatically close brackets and automatically close tags. So now when we go ahead and we type in the P again, when we close that, it has automatically closed it for us underneath, so we can just start typing away as we want to here. If we want to, we can also change the theme. So we can have different color options, as you can see here. And you can see there's lots of different color options available. So let's stick with the night theme at the moment. So let's go with the A, B, C, D, E, F theme. So there's a nice contrast to this. You then have further options inside here. So you have the scroll bar um, annotations, you have closing brackets, automatic closing tags, auto completing. So if we turn this off, for example, and then we go ahead and we type P, there's no longer an auto complete here, but the tag still closes. So you can see there's lots of different options here to tailor the editor exactly how you want it to work for you. So you've got the different colors, you've got the different functionality from what is automated. You can change it from left to right if you wanted to, through to uh, right to left. So then all the text is on the right to left language. You also have the ability to drag and drop. You can change the font size of the default editor, as you can see here. And there's lots of other visual elements to help you. So another thing that you can look to do as well is rather than just have HTML, you can change the mode. So let's go ahead and open another file. So we're going to open a CSS sample. Now in here we have some CSS code. If we look at the settings page, change this to CSS. Now upon changing to CSS, we can then see again the editor changes to follow the format of the syntax of CSS. So we can go ahead and let's say we want to write a rule for H2. Go ahead and write H2 and we've put the bracket in and it's automatically created another bracket because of the setting here to automatically close brackets. So if we go ahead and type that again now with that setting off, go ahead and type the bracket, it doesn't add the closing bracket here. So we want this on to make it easier. So let's close that back on, put the closing bracket or opening bracket and it automatically closes. Now let's say we want a certain font size because we've selected the CSS um, rules we can start typing in font and nothing is coming up because we've removed the autocomplete. If we turn the autocomplete back on, we start typing in font again. And you can see it gives me all the different options that it recommends. We can then have the option to open another file as well. As you can see here, I've got multiple different files open. So we can go ahead and save changes to this. And then we can go ahead and open another file. So let's open the JavaScript or jQuery uh, example. So here in the settings, we can change this, and we change this to text slash JavaScript. You'll also notice in our settings as well, 
we have the bracket and the closed tags, etc. So let's remove the brackets function. And we go ahead and tap in function. And we're going to open the bracket and nothing changes. Whereas if we now make this auto, go ahead and type in the bracket. And you can see that it automatically closes all the brackets that we're writing. So this text editor really is packed full of so many different features. It has the ability to follow all the different syntaxes of all the different sort of coding styles that you want to add. It has the ability not just for JavaScript, CSS, and HTML, but a whole host of different text editors. It has the theme options, then the whole customization options behind this for your different languages, your left to right, the automations that you want behind it, the autocompletes, font sizes, cursor sizes, and a whole host more, making this a really robust text editor simply loaded natively from your browser.